What is going on guys, this is Jagnol26 and today I am bringing you a Photoshop tutorial on how to make a thumbnail that looks like this. This has been requested by this person. I don't really want to pronounce the name because I'm afraid I will get it wrong. So other than that, let's get started. So we're going to go to File, then New, and then you want to change the width to with to 1280 oh not 1080 1280 by 720 and technically make sure it's in pixels and make sure the background contents is on transparent um, you don't have to worry about anything on advanced so you click OK and there you go you okay we're gonna get rid of that but um there you go you got um you know you whatever so um if we're gonna get the uh, the wave in right now so what you want to do is click on this tool it's the gradient tool so click it and then all and then pick your two colors by double clicking so this i pick dark green and light green and then after you pick your two colors you want to uh click hold like you want to click it and hold the click and hold and hold shift at the same time and then drag down you'll get a straight line and it really doesn't matter but just just making sure it's always straight and there you go you got uh you got your gradient now from dark to light so let's get the stripes in there so we're going to go to filter then go to distort then go to wave then you want to uh make sure that the wavelength both ta both like little I guess sliders are even with each other on wavelength same with amplitude so if you lower the wavelength the more stripes they're gonna be so uh, I just left it at this and the number of generators is how uh, much you want it to be a stripe so like if you drag it all the way over there uh, then it's gonna be like perfect blocky but if you uh, drag it over a little bit it's gonna be a little faded you know like that so we're just gonna drag it like around here, you know, just 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 for there. And then you wanna click OK. And now you got your stripes. So if we wanna make it into a little spiral, we're gonna go back to filter, back to distort, and go to polar coordinates. Once you do that, you're gonna see this. And then boom, you got your stripe thingy but if you see this little problem right here that means that the it's not working properly and that means that uh one of the stripes is too short and we could i don't know if we can fix it by doing this let's oh my gosh we're not doing that <laughs> so that means we're gonna have to go back we're gonna hit Control alt z and then we're gonna do it again and now we're gonna go back the stored wave and we're gonna make sure our wavelength make sure we they're like all even so we don't have any like extras like hanging on that's that's close enough there you go then we go back distort pull the coordinates there you go now we have a, a little circle so uh so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna drag in like minecraft thing i i i'm not doing this because i like minecraft it's just i just found it and it's transparent so yeah we put that in the middle like it's focusing on minecraft so uh there you go or what i love to do all right is hit Control j it copies it then make a much bigger copy of it make sure it's behind it by dra so you want to hit click okay drag behind it and drag under it to where minecraft copies under normal minecraft and boom there you go then you want to go to the copy and change the opacity so it's like oh not too much so it's like making it like look like it's so cool and stuff like that so uh there you go uh we're actually gonna drag this down a bit yeah it looks better so after you do done that it looks like it's faded in to the like the stripes that's what makes it look so cool so um then we're gonna add our text so text is very simple so we're gonna go uh Minecraft crap 
number one. So, um, so we're gonna go to our, you know, our text, and we're gonna resize it by going to this little corner and dragging it over and holding shift at the same time so it's going to scale. Hit OK. Then you want to go to options. Then you want to go to where it says drop shadow. And then you want to go to color overlay. This will change the color, so we're going to leave it at red. Go back to drop shadow. And then you can adjust the distance the way it is. So it's like whoop, 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 whoop. You can adjust the angle. So if you want the angle to be like this, or coming from that way, you can. The size is how, like, how, I guess, how spread out it is. And then the spread is how, like, I guess how, uh, I don't really know how to say it. I guess thick, uh, I guess I could say. Then, you want to go to stroke. Stroke makes it look like it fits in. Because if it's just, like, uh, it looks very, very, like, the colors don't blend very well like going from green to red without the black in between makes it look really bad however uh when you have the black it helps transition from the green to the red uh so there you go and then uh you can when you go to stroke you can go to color you can change it to a gradient so if you want the gradient to be like that you can however we're just gonna stick with the color so, and then you could do the same with the other one. Go to color overlay. Oh, are we doing the wrong one? I think we are. Yeah, we are. Whoops. Uh, so we're going to go back to uh, mine, no, number one and go to blending options. Color overlay, drop shadow, and stroke. Of course, we're going to resize it. But technically, all right, then we're going to resize it. Oh, wow. So it like that, so it's like number one. So yeah, there you go. But now we're gonna do another part. So that's uh, this version. Now let's go on to the other version where it has a little hole in this. So we're gonna delete, uh, I guess, everything except for the text. So we're gonna delete the layer. Oh, why did I just delete that, did I? Let's hit Control Z. Okay, we're going to delete Minecraft, Minecraft copy. Uh, we're also going to delete, um, actually, that's it. So, we're going to go, what layer is this one? Oh, yeah, that's not supposed to be there. Okay, so, after you, you okay, now let's go back to it. Uh, so, you got your stripe. We're just going to turn off these uh, text so we can see better. So, you got your stripe. So, let's make a hole. <laughs> Let's make a hole. <laughs> Giggity. But uh, we're going to go to this tool where it has, it will originally be like this. Like there's like dotted lines. Click hold and then go to elliptical tool. Start from like around right here. Click it and then drag it down to the other corner. And then once you do that, you're going to see like weird squiggly lines around it. So you want to right click in the circle, not out here, in the circle, and click select inverse. So now you're going to see like dotted lines on the border. Then you want to go right click it, then go to refine edge. And there you go. It's all gone. Wonder what, no, oh, okay, we're not going to do that. <laughs> we're just going to go to radius. See how it's like getting faded already? Go to the feather, turn that up, turn it up. So more feather, more fade is going to be, and you know, bigger radius. No, actually, we're going to make it more radius. Oh, there. There you go. You can make it more smooth. Uh, you can add contrast, but I think contrast is really weird because it just makes it more straight, so I, I usually turn it off. Shift edge, same thing. It just doesn't really do much. So, like, you don't want to have it too much. You don't have too, like, a lot, a little. So we're just going to put at zero. And then hit enter. So, but you don't see anything yet. So let's make this disappear. So, um, you want to go down to where it shows like a circle and a, I guess, a box or a rectangle. Click it. Now you got an empty like it's lit. It's like gone. But what are we gonna put in the middle? So we're gonna we can turn on our text by now. So look, 
there you go. But let's drag in some <laughs> mine. Yeah, a little forest thing. And then what we're gonna have to do is drag it under this, and there you go. That is it. And usually when you're doing something, you probably want to have something in the center, like um, on the my Call of Duty ones, I usually put my gun crosshairs right here to fill in, because right in here it looks a little stupid, so we may add in like a, a Steve. We might Steve it up and he, there you go. So there, it's Steved up. And uh, so that's basically it. I did it under 20 minutes. Like the uh, other tutorial, like I did it twice. Um, so other than that, if you enjoy this video, be sure to give it a like. Comment anything you want. I will make a tutorial if you guys request it. And again, this guy requested it. Go check out his... Well, actually, I really can't say go check out his channel because he doesn't really have anything. So, uh... Um, th thanks for the... For telling me it because I like to give you, you know the best ways to make your videos look better uh, again if you enjoy this video hit the like bait like 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 video like button uh please i mean you don't have to it doesn't really matter but i really want you to uh comment what you think and go ahead and check out my other videos while you're at it then if you like my other videos subscribe because you know you'll get to see all of my latest videos pop up on your my subscription doesn't really help me at all doesn't really show anything i really don't think subscribers is a number like i don't count i just don't think that it's a huge number to me i mean i don't think i even unless i hit like a million you know i just don't really care how many i have i just care about what i have I don't know. so other than that i will see you guys next time